I'm so exhausted. A limitless universe lies out there, with a lifetime of experiences. If only I could break out of these walls. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Wait a sec. Who was it? I'm here, above you. Whoa! Just stay calm. No need to panic, Theo. You know my name? How can you talk? You are a bird. Well, I'm not from around here. Meaning? Meaning, I'm from a different planet. Hmm. So you believe me? Why not? I don't think Earth has talking owls. <laughs> I'm from Oak. Oak? Never heard of it. <laughs> Nobody knows it here. You even eloped the eyes of NASA. Interesting. So, why come to Earth? Our planet is in danger. Uh, I'll need more than that. Alright. There's a planet. A planet. That once knew no sadness. A planet where technology has made lives easy and exciting. Most people would think of this place to be found only in imagination. But in fact, it has existed all the time. This planet has some special animals, the wise masters of Oak. They made sure we all prospered and gave us all kinds of automation. Okay, it's a happening planet, yada yada yada, what next? Robots, explosions, and then doomsday. Huh? Need more? You better listen. Okay. Then masters created robots with emotions to safeguard our village. It was the best gift ever to our planet. We lived in harmony for years. Till one day. Sorry, listening. One day, a deadly virus infected these robots, transforming them into something really monstrous. It led the planet towards mass destruction. The masters tried to save the planet, but they were taken captive. Animals failed, and the planet was taken over. But, masters had a backup plan. They programmed a safe hideout which cannot be traced by the robots. And this gadget you see around my neck. What about it? It's programmed to look for a successor who will help save our planet. So this weird thing brought you here? It chose you. What? Why me? I don't have an answer to that yet. Well, well what's happening? It seems you're waking up. Huh? Remember, Theo, you're Oak's last hope. Wait, I didn't get your name. Zog. Hey, Theo, wake up. <sighs> Kai, you at my house? You crashed in the library, dude. My bad. Man, you're something, you know. I know. I'm amazing! So what's for lunch? Tacos. Mmm, my favorite. Let's go to cafeteria. Your mom and dad still not back? A couple of months more. Anyway, you won't believe the dream I just saw. I was on a cliff. Seriously, a talking owl. Yeah. You've got some bizarre imagination. Tell me about it. Still, saving a planet would be a blast. The Chosen One, hmm, has a nice ring to it. Yeah. That dream felt awfully real, like a fragment of my memory. Yeah, right, like an owl could ever talk. <laughs> Hope I'm not going insane. Oh God. Guess I should pack. Other fellows would be back soon. See you on Monday. Yeah. Beware of the owl. Don't let it drag you. <laughs> sure. It wouldn't be bad, though.
what do you want to be when you grow up, Theo? A scientist! Just like you and Mom. That's a wonderful choice, honey. Thanks, Mom! Three years since they left, and it still feels like yesterday. Damn, what's up with me today? The owl really messed me up. And I'm back. Home sweet home. Two lonesome days and back to school. If only Oak and the Owl were real. We are. Seriously? Am I dreaming again? <laughs> no, not this time. So Oak, it's destruction, masters, all that's real? Yeah. But how did you fly into my dream? Feel the back. What's this? That's Reliquim. It linked your conscience with mine. And when you fell asleep... It allowed you to enter my dream. You're a quick one. When did it get on me? I dropped it this morning. I'm ready. What? Take me to Oak. I can't wait to see what other cool stuff you got. Okay, but be warned. The robot army is dangerous. I'm willing to take the risk. Besides, I'm done being in my parents' shadow. You seem excited. Of course. <laughs> He's just a kid and knows nothing about us. You still on about that? <sighs> Have some faith in the prophecy. <laughs> Empty words. I know we've little to go with, but... Like Zog said. Only time will tell what he's meant to do. Yeah, till then. We teach him to keep him busy. Theo, me Tyra and Zoe. Don't let their appearance fool you. They are quite good at what they do. Hi, Theo. Hmm. Hey, Squirrel, what's up with you? Don't worry, he'll come around. Right? Yeah. So, what's the plan? We start by rescuing the masters. But we don't know their locations yet. So no guns and blazes? It isn't some sci-fi movie, dude. Well, the devices you use say otherwise. They do? I think they're pretty normal. Normal? Now that makes me feel I'm not on Earth anymore. Glad your brain recognized that. Right now, you're not familiar with Oak, Theo. Not exactly. I know your technology is far more advanced than Earth's. Then, why not start from here? Hmm? Learn Oak's technology. Does that mean I'll learn to make cool gadgets like Relicum? Gradually. Alright, where do we start? From the beginning. So, you must have used WhatsApp. Yes. And YouTube. Yes, of course. And you surely would have spent hours gaming. Man, Fortnite, Minecraft, play them all. Well, ever thought how these things are made? What magic happens that you're able to see someone over a video call? Or how does your player jump over trains and subway surface? Uh, how are they made? They're all creations of programming. Programming? What's that? Okay, what's your routine when you go to school? Well, first, my alarm clock wakes me up. Then I get ready, eat my breakfast, walk to my school, study. After the classes, I go back home and crash out. So basically, you follow some step-by-step -step instructions to go to school. Yeah. Likewise, programs are step-by-step -step instructions a computer follows to achieve its goals. Like when you press the unlock button on your phone, it follows some set of instructions to unlock. So programming is the reason, huh? Pretty much. But how do we ask the computers to make these programs? By talking to them. Okay, in what language are we talking? English? Yo, like we have our own language, computers have their own. Which they understand based on logic. Logic? Yep. Computers understand just two numbers, zero and one. We call them binary digits. But how can I talk with just two numbers? 
For now, understand it this way. Computers use a combination of zeros and ones to identify alphabets and numbers. Like, it identifies the alphabet A as 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. B as 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And so on. Damn, do I need to learn them all? <laughs> no, Theo. Computers remember it for you. Say, you want to talk to a Japanese who doesn't speak English. Uh, I need a translator who can translate what I say into Japanese. And translates back into English, correct? Likewise, computers also have a translator to convert alphabets and numbers into zeros and ones. And we call this translator as an interpreter. So, when I talk to a computer, I don't have to bother myself talking in zeros and ones. Yep, for now, think of it this way. You just give your instructions in a language closer to English. We call this language as a high-level language. Which is translated into the language the computer understands. Whew, that's helpful. And, like we have different languages to talk to each other. Computers also have multiple languages. Like Python, Swift, Java. Okay, so which language will I learn? Python is the simplest one. And being the closest language to English, we can program in Python easily. Perfect. So, Theo, ready to make your first program? I'm nervous this is my first time. This is Python Shell, where you write programs. Make sure to put hello in double quotes. Let's press enter to see what it gives. Wow! The computer says hello. The print command asks Mr. Python to display what's inside the brackets. I want to make one more program. Let's do some math. It's so amazing! It is. But how do we make a relicum using this? <laughs> Great things take time, Theo. Slowly, slowly. I'm rooting for you. It might be a drag, but I'll help you out. <laughs>